Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Visual Studio Graphics Diagnostics tools for GPU usage on DX12. So you may be thinking, what is GPU usage? It's a tool for DX12 that helps visualize scheduling and execution of your application across one or more GPU engines or adapters and one or more CPU threads. In order to use these tools, um, you need to have Windows 10 installed, preferably the latest version, uh, VS 2015, the tools themselves, and a DX12 application that you want to take a look at. So what does GPU usage help visualize? Well, if you're asking the questions, am I utilizing my threads on the CPU the way I think I am? Am I us utilizing my GPU engines and adapters the way I think I am? Am I causing excessive weights between multiple threads or between the CPU and the GPU in my application? Is my application not performing work at certain points? Or if you're trying to answer the question, like, am I overscheduling the CPU or GPU? That's where GPU usage can help you visualize the data such that you can determine the answers to those questions. So let's actually look at the tool now. So if you have a Visual Studio solution open, you can just hit you know, Alt F2 or uh, go to this debug menu, click on Start Diagnostics Tools Without Debugging, and it'll pull up the menu to start GPU usage. You have to make sure you have this uh, checkbox checked here, and you can change your target. So if you actually have a UWP app that you want to run uh, usage on, you can do that instead, uh, or an installed app. You go ahead and hit Start. It'll start up the application. Uh, and start the collection. You can watch the frame rate graph in the back there if you want, or whenever you're done, you can hit stop collection or close your application, and it will start the processing of the entire file to, uh, it'll start getting your data ready. Anyway, so once you get here, you can uh, you can see this broad overview, which is a sample uh, rate of your like frame rate and your GPU utilization, and you can select a time period of up to three seconds to actually analyze in more detail and click on this View Details button to do that with. Now here we have uh, two views. We have our Timeline view and our Events List view. And these two are actually synchronized, so if you zoom into something up here and click on it, then it will be highlighted uh, down below, like your present here. Uh, the If you are using more than one engine, uh, it will appear up on the top of the, uh, up at the top on the Timeline view. Um, and you can see like the work in there, and if you click on the blocks on the GPU, it'll actually go and highlight, you know, what was actually executing at that point. So this at that point there was a dispatch that was executing, and it, inside my uh, command list, it shows me both this execute was actually executing all across there for the GPU, and this is where it was actually sent from the CPU to the GPU. Um, in addition to uh, actual command list, we have uh, Synchronization events, like the weights and signals that you can see happening on your GPU versus your CPU. And if you if you click on a uh, weight, it will should highlight the corresponding signal event if one occurs within that time range, uh, and vice versa for the signals. Uh, let's see, in addition to that, like if you have any, so you can also look at other processes that were running at the time. So this is actually a system-wide application, or system-wide collection. And you can see here DWM is using the copy engine as well, and the compute engine, so you, you see more uh, engines here, Just show, although currently it just shows you the ones that your uh, application was actually using. Anyways, that's it mostly. F you uh, can actually, that's it mostly for uh, this demo, and you can use this visualization to see, oh, hey, I've got you know a lot of work going on on my GPU up here. Uh, but there's not so much work going on on the CPU. So that's it mostly for the uh, basic usage of this tool. If you have any, or have a, base, a basic description of how to use this tool, uh, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to use this uh, send a smile, send a frown button to send us information. And thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned to the DirectX 12 YouTube channel for more tutorials in the future.